I got a pretty cool uh, store here. We probably take a couple of reads, but uh, if I can get in the groove, it's a pretty cool story. It's called Day Spring by Anthony Oliveira. And the word became flesh, coarse hair, crooked smile, taste of salt on his clavicle. And the disciple whom he loved. Still a picture. Still in the picture. Please still in the picture. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by him and through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And the word was life, and life was the light of all. And the light is a light that shines in darkness, and the darkness comes, comprehends it not. And the world, world spiraled outward into the cosmos of orbits and counter orbits into a billion subjectivities and a trillion perspectives. From the word came a multiverse of matter and energy interfluxing, a da dazzling, bewildering, volatile, ory, a wondrous, volatile ory, a wondrous, widening gyre, gyre, a going forth to multiply. And the word became flesh, coarse hair. Crooked smile, taste of salt on his clavicle. I am the disciple whom he loved. When I remember what came before, I see a black sky, a flash, and then hear a sound like the roar of rushing waters. I lay sprawled in the tangle of rope. Thick and bristled in the stern of my father's boat. The wood by now is dry. Wherever its carcass is beached and whatever now scuttles there, but there is stank of hundreds of halls of ancient fish and its cedar hull that was busily sweating gum that matted the hair on my legs. All day and into all day and into night we had caught nothing and so half dozing I scared, stared at a cost of sky a cost of sky while my brother stripped to his waist in the heat still wearing a silly hat all the lanker for the atmosphere the tense pressure mine uh, mind the net. He whistled a song. I'm afraid I did again. All day and into the night, we had caught nothing. And so, half dozing, I stared at the cost of sky while my brother stripped to, the, to his waist in the heat, still wearing his silly hat. All the lingers of the atmosphere is a dense press. I minded the net. He whistled a song of my mother's. I remembered her singing it, but now. It's words, I remember her singing it, but not quite her voice. I remember her singing it. He whistled a song of my mother's. I remember her singing it, but not now, it's words. I remember her singing it, but not quite her voice. I wasn't there when my brother died. I am thankful for that. They sowed his bones and fields remote. To be seed against a harvest, none of us will live to glean. Instead, I remember that sticky day before everything, seeing from prone the desperate thrall of flight stagger in the zigzag, and hearing my brother laugh at the human summer air, at last cracked open and drenched us cold and clean. Come and see, and I saw. The whole sea skin rippling with the rains. 
con contumous and beneath it a net swarming with silver light. Come and see. And I saw the whole sea skin. Come and see. And I saw the whole skin, the whole sea skin rippling with the rains. Conscious and the rains. Conscious. Yeah. Come and see and I saw the whole sea rippling with the rain's conscious and beneath it a net swarming with life. There you go. Tell me a story. After that, aren't you tired? Didn't you? I mean, I thought, no, I didn't, obviously. Touched his hand to the stickiness of his stomach. Now growing cold and tacky as hair. Okay, all right, okay. Um, in the beginning, there was not that, a real one. Okay, okay, so. The night I was born, there was a lot of animals, and it doesn't matter why. Okay, okay, so there were doves and raptors high, and sheep with curly horn, and cow, and all white, and a red, and a donkey, and a shaggy, and a brown. Around a baby where you were born in a. Yeah, very funny. So it was cold because it was winter. Wait. I open my eyes and pull my head away from the fuzz of his chest. When is your birthday? Mid spring when the shepherds are in the field. That'll be important later. Listen. Never mind, it was cold. Because it was Christmas. <laughs> uh, he pushes back my head to his chest. Now all together gently. It starts to tr trace slow curly cues into the back of my hair. Oh, So I was shivering my baby ass off. <laughs> so my mom asked the animals to help. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, uh, whatever, you know, softly on the pleasant stink of his armpit. It was all good. Uh, listen, so the cow blew his breath all soft and warm. <laughs> Her breath? What? Cows are girls. Oh, okay, all right. Whatever. Moo. Cattle blowing. All that good stuff. So I bless the gal. Sure you did. Ah, but the fucking donkey is all oh, yeah, yeah. Super cold and whiny, you know, like donkeys do. Do donkeys do that? Of course they do. I mean, you've been a donkey? I mean, I guess. I'm uh, mostly fish, basically. So I go up to the donkey, <laughs> as a baby. So I go up to the donkey, and I say, what's your name? But he keeps going, yeah, yeah. All cold. So I pull his ears way up, and I say, your name is Donkey. D-O-N-K-E-Y, Donkey. And that's why donkeys have long ears. It might also be why mules are infertile. I might be confusing the details, and it might be funnier in Portuguese. Dun, 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 dun.